Here is everything you need to know to make Arlecchino OP without any of the BS. Use the timestamp chapters to navigate to the information you need. Let's get started. Arlecchino uses brand new weekly boss materials, so it's very important to prioritize her talents properly. Almost all of her damage comes from her normal attacks, so first prioritize crowning this talent. Then, level her burst. However, in a lot of rotations, her burst either isn't used or it's used without any buffs just to heal, so you can leave it at level 6 without much consequence. Her skill also deals almost no damage, so you don't need to level it at all, but there's no harm in getting it to 6. The exact combo you do with Arlecchino is honestly not that important. I recommend just trying to do as many normal attacks as you can, but no more than in 5 and dashing as needed to dodge. If you are using a shield and don't need to dodge, do either in 4D or in 5D or even just in 3D. Alachino's signature is her best weapon by far. It's a massive 24% ahead of her best free to play weapon and 14-16% to ahead of her second best 5 star weapon. Getting this weapon will be a monumental improvement to your Arlecchino, but if you don't get it, then Scarlet Sands, Jade Spear, Balad, Homa, Deathmatch, Vortex Vanquisher, and White Tassel are the weapons to consider. Balad shouldn't be used if you aren't vaporizing, and Vortex loses value without a shield, so keep that in mind. Fragment, the new Bond of Life set, is Arlecchino's best set by about 8-10%, so you should be aiming to get a good 4-piece of this over time. Until then, the sets you can use instead are Gladiators, Echoes, DPC, Bolide, or 2-piece, two 2-piece, two in that order. Bolide won't work if you aren't using a shield and loses its effect if your shield breaks, and Echoes also needs a good ping to be an advisable set, so keep that in mind. And if you happen to be using Farina, then Mara Shusei Hunter will be Olegino's best set, slightly ahead of Fragment. For the main stats, use Attack Sands, Pyro Goblet, or an Attack Goblet, and Trick Circlet. In Vaporize, EM Sands can be used instead of Attack, but it's about 7% behind, so Attack is still recommended. There's about a 2-3% difference between Attack and Pyro Goblet, in favor of Pyro if you're using Bennett, then in favor of Attack if not, so just use whichever has better substats. And for those substats, prioritize Crit, then Attack, then EM if using Vaporize. There's no need to build ER on Olachino, she has a 60 cost burst that makes 10 particles per rotation. Olachino has a lot of variety with her team options. Rather than looking at one team as her definitive best, it's better to view different teams as having different advantages to allow Olachino to adapt to different scenarios. Her good team options can be split into three categories, Vaporize, Chevrous Overload, and Mono Pyro. Starting with Vaporize, there's classic VV Vape teams with Bennett, Kazua, Dito, Yelan, Xingxiao, or Farina. These teams have high damage per rotation, which can allow them to one-rotate bosses with enough investment for incredible single-target performance. At the same time, Kazua provides excellent grouping to assist in AoE. For the Hydro units, Yelan results in overall the most damage and is the most recommended. Xingxiao's damage reduction and interruption resistance are excellent for keeping Olachino alive and uninterrupted, but I'm not a fan of using him here because Swirling Pyro can be inconsistent thanks to his orbitals. You'll want to make sure you dash away from the enemy with Kazuha before using his E to ensure that you do get that Pyro Swirl. With Farina, since Olachino can't be healed other than by her own burst, you won't get very high fanfare. Olachino will also almost always be at or below 50% HP and get killed extremely easily, on top of that, BV rotations can also be very inconsistent with Farina if you're trying to vaporize Pyro. But if you instead do Kazuha QE inside Bennett Burst, you can double swirl, and instead you'll be vaporizing Farina's damage instead of Olachino's, and that's fine since Olachino doesn't get a lot of vapes anyway. The damage is pretty similar to using Yelan, but due to the extreme fragility issues, I don't recommend using this team unless Farina is at least C2. In the VV Vape teams with Yelon or Zinc Show, you can also use Sucrose instead of Kazuha. The damage is similar, if not slightly higher, in single target, but losing out on Kazuha's grouping is a huge loss in AoE. If you desire to play Olachino with a shield in a Vaporized team, 
I recommend using Zhongli, Yelan, and either Bennett or Chiari as your fourth slot. Using Bennett will be a bit higher damage than Chiari, but thanks to Chiari's excellent sub DPS damage, she's only slightly behind and has the practical advantage that you will not be restricted to Bennett's circle anymore. Now, moving on, we have Mono Pyro teams, which are also very strong. The team options I recommend are Olachino, Bennett, Kazua, and either Zhongling or Zhongli, or going double Geo with Olachino, Zhongli, Chiari, Bennett. The Zhongling variant has Zhongling for great AoE sub DPS to go alongside Kazua, while still having very high damage per rotation for excellent single target. In some bar scenarios, Zhongling's Pyronado can also hit additional times for even better single target than the math reflects. If you replace Zhongling with Zhongli, the damage goes down by a lot, but you may find the ease of use he provides more valuable. Zhongli also has a neat benefit that you can group enemies with Kazuha and then petrify them with Zhongli and keep them grouped. The double geo variant with Chiuri and Zhongli is the highest DPS Alucino team that uses a shield. The team has lower damage than most of Alucino's other teams and can struggle to run rotate bosses compared to those teams. However, Alucino's damage is at its highest at the start of her combos. Then the second rotation, her damage will be even higher thanks to having more bond of life. So the team can still kill bosses very fast even if it does have to go to a second rotation. Also, keep in mind with the Mono Pyro teams with Geo, you do want to use Archaic Petra on the team to maximize your damage output. Lastly, let's talk about the Cheveris teams. Alachino, Cheveris, Bennett, Fischl is overall Alachino's highest theoretical DPS team and will work great in single target. However, the team is really bad for AoE as it has overload, circle impact with Bennett, and no grouping. Beto can be used instead of Fischl for damage reduction and interruption resistance, but the single target will be much lower. The AoE damage will technically be higher thanks to Beto's ult jumps, but you still have the overload, circle impact, and no grouping problem. Enemies can also get knocked apart and not actually be close enough for Bido to jump between targets. If you want to play Cheveris teams without Bennett, Olachino Cheveris Fischl Yai is an okay option. You can use Bido instead of Yai, but once again the single target is going to take a huge jump while still having some of the AoE issues. And that covers all of the teams that I recommend for Olachino. Pick and choose between these teams based on what is most important for the specific content you are facing. Alachino has absurdly powerful constellation. C1 is an insane 28% damage increase whilst providing interruption resistance during her normal attacks. C2 removes the need to wait for the blood debt to stack, which can allow for faster rotation setups. It also gives Alachino a 900% scaling nuke when clearing the blood debt. To get the most out of this, you will want to ensure that you change your rotation to have your blood debt clear done with all of your buffs active. Assuming you do, this is about a 16% increase. C3 increases NA talent by 3, this will improve the base scalings of her normal attacks and the Bond of Life scaling for an absurd 20% increase. C4 does nothing, C5 basically does nothing, and then C6 is the standard 90 CV, but also turns her burst into an insane nuke capable of one-shotting bosses in the Abyss. This is a 38% increase, and in practice can be even more than that, and is quite possibly the best C6 in the entire game. So if you're interested in getting all of Chino's constellations, C1, C2, or C3 are all great early stopping points, but don't go past C3 unless you intend to go all the way to C6. And that's everything you know, need to know to make all of Chino OP.